Eleanor here and welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy to have all of you here. Thank you, thank you so much for watching this video. Um, I want to wish you guys all a happy 2018. I know it's probably a little, a little bit late to be wishing all of you a happy new year, but you know, this is my first official video out for, for the year and I want to wish you guys a happy new year. So may this year be happy and prosperous for all of us. Now onto today's video. If you have been following me on social media, on Instagram and the like uh, for the last few weeks, you would have noticed that my curls have been popping like it's nobody's business. And today I'm going to be showing you exactly how I achieve these gorgeous popping curls. Okay, truth be told, I have also had a haircut recently. Um, so if you've been following me on social media, then you would have known about my haircut. But if not, I will fill you in quickly. So I went to South Africa towards the end of last year. It was uh, in December to be exact, to Cape Town specifically, to host the Cape Town Natural Hair Festival with the rest of my team called Cape Town Naturally. While I was in Cape Town, I decided to get my hair cut. So you guys know my hair was quite long before, but I really just got to a point where I wanted more volume um, and I just wanted to feel a little bit lighter. Um, I love my long hair, but the thing is my hair is so fine and when it grows long, it just kind of hangs down. There's no volume. Um, it really just, yeah. And because it's so fine, I really struggle to get volume in. So I decided to get quite a drastic cut which I absolutely love. Um, you guys can see it's quite a lot shorter here and then it's layered all the way down, but that's just the way I'm loving it right now. So it's the cut in combination with these products that I'm gonna be showing you today is how I get these amazing popping curls. So the products that I will be showcasing today is called Care Care Natural Textures. I was lucky enough to have been sent these products a couple of months ago, but I only really started using it um, now in January and I am absolutely loving them. So I'm going to take you through the entire process of how I go from really dry hair to super moisturized popping curls. So without any further ado, let's get straight into this video. So as you can see my hair is quite dry this is about a week old wash and go and it really is time to wash and refresh it so i like to just saturate my hair in the water first and then i'm going to go in with the honey sheer co-wash this is a very gentle cleanser it's going to cleanse my scalp and cleanse my hair in a very gentle way without stripping my hair of its natural oils what I like about it is that it is very moisturizing so you'll see that I'm continuously also detangling my hair as I'm washing it. So I work it through gently and then I use my fingertips to massage my scalp. I have to be honest sometimes I do want to go in with my nails <laughs> it just feels so good to scratch a bit but you really shouldn't do that. So just try and stick to your fingertips and clean your scalp that way. So once I'm done with the cleansing process, I'm going to rinse the curl wash out of my hair and then I'm going to move on to my second step, which is using the deep moisturizing mask. Um, so it says that this mask is for dry curls and coils, <laughs> exactly what I need today. It's a deep penetrating conditioner that revitalizes and restores moisture to dry hair. It's rich with conditioning agents to restore elasticity to help prevent breakage. It softens hair and it contains amla and shikakai botanicals to enhance shine. Now I must say that I really really love this deep conditioner. Apply it all over my hair and then I proceed to detangle my hair and usually I would just leave it on after I've detangled and then uh, carry on with the rest of my shower process but for the purposes of this video I'm skipping that part <laughs> and I'm just going to move on directly to the rinsing out process but these days I only deep condition for five to ten minutes not much longer because I just don't have time for long deep conditioning sessions anymore so once the deep conditioner is all rinsed out, I'm going to move on to the styling process, but I make sure not to use a towel or a t-shirt on my hair. I just make sure that my hair is soaking wet once I start applying my styling products. So the first styling product I'm going to reach for is the leave-in conditioner. And you guys know that I never ever style my hair without using a good leave-in conditioner. It just forms the basis for your style. It forms the, the moisture basis for your hair for the rest of the week, if that makes any sense. So I really, really like this leave-in conditioner. It contains argan and Abyssinian oils, which add shine to the hair and promote proper moisture 
balance. So I'm really liking this. So I just make sure that I work it through my hair on the right side and on the left side and I generally work in two sections as you would have seen during the wash and condition process as well and just work the product through my hair that way. And generally I always start from my ends because my ends are the oldest part of my hair and that's the part that needs the most moisture. So I just make sure that I concentrate on my ends and then I work my way up to the roots. And for the most part, I rake the product through my hair. So using my fingers as a comb and detangling all the way as I'm applying the product. So once I'm satisfied that I've applied enough leave-in conditioner, I'm going to reach for the Buttercream Everyday Moisturizer. And guys, I love this moisturizer so, so much. It says that it's a butter, but it is not heavy at all. It's like a light souffle almost. And it says that it's a moisture locking souffle that not only hydrates curls and coils, but also employs lanolin plus argan, abyssinian and castor natural oils to achieve proper natural oil and moisture balance. I really like this butter and the reason I use it is to lock in the moisture from the leave-in conditioner but I honestly don't use a lot of it. Once again I just concentrate on my ends and move on to my roots from there. And the last product I'll be applying is the defining custard. Now basically the defining custard is like a jelly, a gel if you wish and this is going to provide lots and lots of curl definition. In fact, this defining custard is the reason why my curls have been popping like crazy lately. I'm absolutely in love with it. And once again, it contains amla, argan and abyssinian oil, which will add a natural shine to my hair and it's going to help minimize product flaking on the hair. Um, so this is what it says on the container, but guys, I have no frizz. I mean, you'll see by the end of this video, once my hair is completely styled and dry, there is absolutely no, no frizz. So if you're looking for a product that's going to give you great definition, I highly recommend the Defining Custard from Care. Care. So I just distribute the product evenly throughout my hair. And once I'm satisfied that I've got enough product in my hair, I'm going to start diffusing my hair. Now, sometimes I use the actual diffuser attachment, other times not. Um, lately, I haven't really been using the diffuser attachment because I want my hair to kind of dry quicker, but also I just want to inject more volume into it. So I'm quite happy for my hair to be blowing in all sorts of different directions while I'm drying it. And you guys know that I live in England. It's pretty cold. I here right now so lately I'm always drying my hair with a dryer before I leave the house I just I don't want to go out in the cold with wet hair there's just no way that I'll be doing that so I start by drying my hair out for a little bit I get it about maybe 50 60 percent dry then I'll start doing my makeup and once I've finished my makeup I will come back and dry my hair for another I don't know five to ten minutes but I always use medium air so never never hot because I'm looking after my hair I don't want to get heat damage so I just make sure that I use a medium heat setting once my hair is completely dry I will reach for my afro pick just to pick it out at the roots that's going to inject even more volume I'll fluff it out with my fingers just kind of shake it all around and all of that is definitely going to help with even more volume <laughs> guys this is fine hair struggles but these are the tips and tricks that I use to help me inject more volume into my hair so I just continue with that and then um, basically that is me done thank you so much for watching this video everyone I really hope that you enjoyed watching it as much as I enjoyed making it for you if you did like it please give it a thumbs up leave a comment down below and make sure that you subscribe it is free now next thing make sure that you go and find me and follow me on instagram i'm at eleanor jador on instagram facebook and twitter i am active quite a lot i post really regularly and i would love to continue the conversation and to chat with you guys over there so thank you once again for watching and i will see you in my next video bye